show audition, who asked me out to dinner that night and then uh, escorted me home and of course wanted to spend the night and I said no because I had uh, an appointment the next day. I told him what it was and he said, well, I, I would love to accompany you, take you, because I was going to pick myself up, you know, drive myself there and he said, no, I'll take you and I'll bring you home. Should have been my first red flag. So he took me there, and before the procedure, I recall being terrified. So they an anesthetized me. When I woke up, I cried and I thanked the doctor profusely, for I thought my dilemma had been resolved. Little did I know that I, car I would careen down a 10-year path of self-destruction. I continued to pursue my career, yet I buried my pain in alcohol, sex, and drugs, trying everything I could to fill the hole that was left in my heart. My second marriage was to the man who took me to have the abortion. It lasted three years due to his physical and verbal abuse. This second divorce moved quickly into many affairs, anesthetizing myself with more alcohol and drugs. I suffered from emotional outbursts, fits of rage, paranoia, and an inability to love or to be loved. A third marriage happened and seemed doomed from the beginning because I miscarried our first child, leaving me more depressed and with such a sense of hopelessness, guilt, and shame that suicidal thoughts became a regular occurrence. I thought that the miscarriage was God punishing me for the abortion, which was an absolute lie. I spent the entire pregnancy anticipating the loss of yet another child and was unable to bond with my son for the first year of his life. All of this madness brought numerous psychological diagnoses, a stint in a treatment center, medication to treat all forms of depression. They told me I was bipolar, I was manic depressive, I was borderline manic depressive, I was hypomanic, and any time they thought of a new word for it, they'd call me up and give it to me, and more medication. So this nearly destroyed my third marriage, as the gentleman Bruce was speaking about. But then I surrendered my life to Jesus Christ. <laughs> he came into what was left of a heart that had been bludgeoned with bad choices. I received healing through the Forgiven and Set Free program, and now I counsel other hurting women. My third marriage will be 39 years in May. And in Hollywood, if you're on number three, you usually got the red dress on the bed looking for number four and you're peeking around the corner for five and six, okay? <laughs> so praise God for that. But it had been restored and I have been delivered from 10 years of debilitating depression and antidepressant drugs. God replaced the children I miscarried and aborted with my two wonderful sons, David and Scott, and he reunited me with the daughter I gave up for adoption. She, yes, he did. She came down, she lived with me. I fed her breakfast, lunch, and dinner and, and took her to Disneyland and lent the car to him. Well, that wasn't so smart. But she came back into my life. Is that amazing? So God can restore anything. So what Satan tried to destroy, God has restored. And that's why I am silent no more. Woo!